Hey again, everybody, and welcome. It's John, People's Republic MTG, aka McNerdy27, and we got a quick draft of cons to talk here for you today. Before we jump into the action, this channel stands with the Black Lives Matter movement, so please do check out the links to funds and charities that support BLM in the YouTube video descriptions, and consider giving part of your monthly magic budget or anything you would donate to my channel to one of those worthwhile causes. All right, let's jump in. Been enjoying playing a lot of cons over this uh, Christmas break, this holiday break. Okay, um, decent rare, dig through time, obviously like a really powerful spell in a lot of formats. Is it a first pickable card? Maybe, but like next to Arc Lightning and Mistfire Weaver, that becomes a little bit harder to say. Um, there are some solid commons in this pack in Throttle, Aerostorm, and Hooting Mandrels. Um, also a good but difficult to cast um, uncommon in Marty's Rough Rider. I think Arc Lightning is probably just the safest pick here um, and the most all-around, you know, good quote-unquote pick. Uh, but Mistfire Weaver and Dig Through Time are both, you know, very good cards. Um... I can't really posit what we're going to wheel out of this pack. I guess it's certainly possible the Aerostorm comes back, but I think I'm going to take this Arc Lightning as a good removal spell. Versatile. Okay, so I personally like a River Wheel Aerialists, uh, but I think that this is early to take it no matter what, and no matter if you like it or not. We have a Mardu Horde Chief here, which I think is uh, good enough that I want to take it over, say, like... Jungle Hollow or Mardu Skull Hunter, Willy Loxodon. Uh, Enoch Bondkin is also a good uh, white common, but it's not as good as Mardu Horde Chief, so we're going to take that. So here we have a Jeskai Charm, which is extremely powerful, goes with our first two picks. Um, we do also have a Bloodfell Caves that would push us towards Mardu. I think that Jeskai Charm is good enough to take here. I don't like that we don't have a land in our first three picks. That is generally not what you should be doing in cons. Um, uh, there is also a Jeskai Wind Scout in this pack of note. I'm going to take the Charm, and we got work to do in terms of the land base. I You're going to have to really push me off that this Swiftwater Cliffs, having just said that. And Bloodfire Expert does not do that. So we will take Swiftwater Cliffs and be thankful for it. Sandstep Citadel is uh, an uncommon uh, tri-land here for us, uh, but not for us. Uh, we could take a Bloodfell Caves. Um, uh, I don't think we're going to miss a Singing Bell Strike or a Wetland Sandbar, so I'm just going to hedge here and take this Bloodfell Caves in case we get pushed back into Mardu. There's a secret plans here, but we have zero green cards as of right now. I would be more confident just taking the Swiftwater Cliffs. I'll play a Jeskai student. I'm not above it. Um, and also singing Bell Strike. But uh, yeah, we'll just take another land. Venerable Lamasu is unfortunately not a playable card. Um, I think we will take this Windscarred Crag. Tormenting Voice is a pretty good card. I don't mind a Whirlwind Adept. Um, I think most people are down on it. It is certainly very expensive. Um, but I am going to take that Tormenting Voice. Okay, we get our Singing Bell Strike in case we want that. There's also a Disdainful Stroke. Take a uh, Bell Strike. Unfortunately, not getting like some morphs that we would like here late in these packs. Just going to stick a Heart Piercer Bow in the side. Uh, it is highly doubtful that we will run a Firehoof Cavalry, but I will put that in the sideboard. Once again. Uh, Sandbar could make the cut. It is not a good card, but it is sometimes playable. Okay, we have Trail of Mystery in the rare slot. Um, we're not playing green, so we're not going to really consider it, but I do like the card. Um, 
Yeah, I, I mean, the format uh, allows for cards like that to, to shine. We're going to take a suspension field here and hope to wheel an Aerostorm or Bloodfire Expert. Also, wouldn't mind Smite the Monsters coming back. Okay, so here we have Jeskai Elder, Mystic of the Hidden Way. Um, you could look at Set Adrift. There's also Tranquil Cove. Um, I actually like Jeskai Elder a good amount. I think that Mystic of the Hidden Way we would absolutely play. Um, but I'm going to take Elder as a good two drop. Not a great pack for us. We can look at a War Shrieker or a Weave Fate here. Let me take Bloodfell Caves out. I had War Shrieker in a Jeskai deck earlier, and it really underperformed. I think I'll take a Weave Fate there. So unfortunately, not really anything that we uh, have room for here, but we do get another land. Don't hate that. Okay. Now we get to pick up at least a, a C-level creature in Anarch Bondkin. Uh, this is between Timely Horde Mate and Jeskai Student. We've got a handful of two, two drops that might warrant the Timely Horde Mate. Alternatively, we can just keep picking up two drops. I'm going to take the Timely Horde Mate there, actually. A lot of green in this pack. Wow. We'll just take an uncommon here. Canyon Lurkers is not... Wow, this is a very late Tusk Guard, Captain. It's an excellent card. Um, Canyon Lurkers is not a card I really like, but that's what we're going to take. Bloodfire Expert is actually a welcome sight to wheel that. Okay, nothing we want. Um, put the Snowborn Rider on the side. I would hope to not play either of these. Um, I guess I'll put that Ring Dasher in the deck for now. Carrot Bloodsucker on the side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Howl of the Horde. Uh-uh. Too fancy. Uh, Feet of Resistance is just excellent. Um, I'd like another Jeskai Elder. Glacial Stalker's a good card. Bring Low we would like. Um, but Feet is just high enough quality that I think we got to take that there. Um, here it's a pretty sad Sage-Eye Harrier. Um, yeah, not much for us in that pack. Dragon Grip is not really a card I like. Uh, Winter Flame, on the other hand, is quite good. If we wield this, we'd be in business. I'd love to see that Jeskai student come back. It's not a great card or anything, but I still like it. I don't mind to take up arms. Instant Speed makes it a lot better than you would think. We'll put that in. Love to see another Horde Chief here. I think you take it over that Bring Low. Also a Leaping Master that we'd play. I think I'd just like another land there. Ooh, kill shot. Great pickup there. Um What do we got creature to non creature? Okay, that's that's interesting because that makes me more consider the glacial stalker. What is our uh um removal like right now? We have suspension field, singing bell strike, arc lightning, winter flame, Jeskai Charm. I actually think I would prefer to take the Glacial Stalker, given that. Oof, Mardu Court Chief number three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Jeskai Elder came back. Not bad. Okay. Not really going to play anything here. I will put this Jeskai Banner on the side. Jeskai Student came back? Okay. Can consider that. All right, um, not bad. We got we got uh, another pretty good chess guy deck here. Um, 
We are not looking to be super aggressive, though. This is not one of those super... At least not in my estimation. Hmm? Okay. Actually, all of these are three balls. Huh. Maybe we can play 17 lands in this. Yeah, maybe we are more the more the aggressive style. I think actually, yeah, yeah. Take it all back. Um, I do think we will stick on 17 lands, actually. We're not going to go to 18 with this one. Okay. I think this is not too bad. Yeah. Uh, let's just check the color balance. Um... Heaviest white, white, blue, red. Five, six, seven, eight, white. Seven, blue. Seven, red. Sure. Sounds fine. All right. Uh, digital deck box art. I think we used Winter Flame last time. With three Horde Chiefs, do we just need a... Uh, does Horde Chief get it? Now, you know what? Granny Nunchucks. Granny Nunchucks. Let's do it. This isn't a great keep, but it's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I take the bondkin. Understandable. Not in a great spot, given that. So next turn we can, you know, play Valley Dasher and um, use Feet of Resistance to protect it if necessary. Okay. Opponent has played a Despise so far. Okay. All right, Horde Chief on. I don't think we're going to cast that Tormenting Voice right now. It's still okay. There's a morph. We do have an arc lightning um, to just go ahead and pick that off. I would like to be able to add to the board this turn, though. We can't, though. I guess is the the real problem here. Um, so if we arc lightning two and one, go ahead and attack, tormenting voice, pitch mountain, yeah. I 
I, I'm thinking they have missed a pretty critical land drop. That must be what's going on. Here's land number five. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and work chief. Soothsayer. Still looking pretty good against this. I'm just push the last point of damage here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got a big leg up uh, due to their mana problems. Um. But, you can also look at the other side of that, is we did not have mana problems, because, well, we drew fortunately, um, but also we did draft a, a good number of um, duels. Okay. This isn't terrible. Um, hate blade. Hate from the blade. Two of them. All right, so uh, getting first strike on Bondkin will be a pretty big win, I believe. Um, to give it first strike and hold off the death touchers. Will this be a Mardu Horde Chief? It's not. Okay, um, given that we've drawn our Horde Chief, we're going to attack with that Bondkin. Okay, there's cliffs. Um, I think we're just going to outlast here. The singing bell strike here. Yeah. We'll hang on to that land for a second. Go a charging in with this one one to get our raid going. Okay. I think we'll play Horde Chief. I mean, we can get this guy out of debilitating injury range by outlasting. I think that's worth doing. Alright, 
serpent. Get a 1 1 snick. Um. Let's go ahead and weave fate. Play swift water cliffs. Good trading those off. Um, I think here, rather than winter flaming and getting aggressive, um, we probably just want to, uh, play our Bloodfire Expert and the Morph. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Play a Cliffs. Hopefully next turn looks like uh, Winter Flame here and here uh, and attack with everything. Damage here and tapping here. Okay. Not bad. Alright, let's see how this plays out. We'll be doing both, please. We'll be tapping this and we'll be doing two here. Would prefer no feet of resistance, please. Very good. Yep. And another herb chief. And we'll pass. A large number of blockers. I think we can just press the issue here with feet of resistance in hand. I, I'm fairly confident that's all they've got over there is the heart, uh, Mardu heart, uh, hate blade activation. Sure. Okay, um, what do we save here? Yeah, just this warp chief, I think. Okay. We can now untap this, um, probably add something else to the board, too. Butter end, okay. Let me add a blocker. Nope. I'm yeah, not sure if they were just tried to beat black white warriors or if they had any red in that deck or what. Alright, good deal. On we go. Uh, 
Bubba. Huh. I'll give it a try. We're going to have to tormenting voice on turn two. I take it back. Got no plays. Turns one through three. The War Shrieker. Okay. Let's uh, Bell Strike that. Land number five. We want that, yeah. And go ahead and get rid of Tormenting Voice. Jeskai Elders are doing a pretty good job of that right now. Wetland Sandbar can go. All right. PT good. Uh, yeah. We'll do that. Uh, I'm good with what we got. Alright, opponent definitely having some trouble on mana, I would say. We will charge into combat. We gotta take up arms. Resolves. lifelink mode. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and lifelink is... No? Okay. Okay. Yeah. We will go ahead and do this. That one. We got cards in the library. Yeah. All right. So we've had some opponents playing some pretty shaky mana bases so far today, it would look like. Um, and, uh, well, we're reaping the rewards of that, I suppose. Um, so I guess I'm not going to complain. I mean, I never intended to complain, but, yeah. Stone Splitter Bowl. Okay, good deal. Let's keep going.
yeah, I got to this part in the... Actually, I've gotten all the way through the Lost Caverns of Ixalan story. I haven't gotten to the epilogue. I've been listening to the Magic Story podcast with... Uh... Oh, gosh. Harless and Natalie, I believe those are their names. God, I hope I'm getting their names right. They do a really good job. Um, I'll have to get that straight and tell y'all exactly what it is some point later down the road. Okay, so I like this hand enough, even without white, that I want to keep that. Um, Just Got Elder on turn two is PT Gas. Alright, untapped white source, one time. Bell struck. <laughs> There's the untapped white source. Let's see if we can spook them. No locks. Poor chief. No blocks here. Ooh. That's some tuck. That's the tuck. kill that right now I was so convinced that I had something to get back with timely horde mate I'd have to cast two spells here. Like they're gonna crack this banner. Draw a card. They did not. Lots of cards. Resistance. Okay. Let's 
still nothing for this dude back. Boo hoo hoo. Two of us. All right. Um. I suppose we could. Tormenting voice push Jeskai Elder away. Timely Horde made it back next turn. That's not the end of the. That's not the worst idea. on for a hero here. Alright. I think there we were definitely uh, there's at least one attack on my part that was pretty suspect. <laughs> um, yeah. We attacked with that horde chief when we were holding feet of resistance and timely horde mate. Um, I was so convinced that I had something that was through, but Jeskai Elder was still on the board because Singing Bell Strike doesn't put it in the graveyard, dummy. Oh well. We still got there in the end. Granny nunchucks, despite being stricken by bells that are singing somehow. Who would who would make this veto avatar their avatar? This creeps me out, man. Okay, well that's a that's a clear mulligan right there. Alright. Um I'm not interested in this timely horde mate. Swifty, so jealous. I'm gonna pray for an untapped land here so that we can, uh... Okay, here we go. Um... Like, if they trade with Bloodfire Expert, that's fine. Now my intentions become clear. Swift kick, arc lightning. Getting hit for six. Whew. Chief number two. Okay, nice that they had to take a little break on that. Um, Team or Charm. Uh, prowess trigger. That resolves. That resolves. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. It fights target creature you don't control. Mm, that didn't go as well as I planned. 
as well as I thought it would. That's too bad. I guess I'm supposed to... Ah, more of this prowess crap. Yep. We play the chicken. Okay, here we will do both. Tap you, kill you. Reach out and kill that. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh no. been bonked. Big creature. Yeah, we're gonna die to this Sarkin pretty soon. We are an arrow storm away. All right, just pray they don't have arrow storm, I guess. Continue to pray they don't have arrow storm. No arrow storm. That thing is in no danger of dying. That was close, that Sarkin. We had difficulty dealing with that. That the early Bloodfire expert and Swift Spear dealt a lot of damage. Um it just kinda off balance those first few turns for sure. What's this? A Halo Forger. Hmm. I see. Alright. 
Five and oh. Horde Chief, what a card. What a card. Making so many bodies. Let the bodies hit the battlefield. Sure. I'm going to be mighty tempted to play this Elder and pray for an untapped, for a second untapped land. Harold of Anapensa. That is a card. Yeah, uh, let's get rid of probably this Bloodfire Expert. Really, is do does not do a ton against um a bunch of one ones. That's what we're what we're probably looking at here. Untapped land, beautiful. You can go. So we can just bell strike that thing and push a good chunk of damage. Uh, sorry, actually, that's not a good chunk of damage. Um, uh, I still am afraid enough of it. They double block Granny. Yeah. We're, we're real down on cards now. Um, just, we have managed to shut this down, but... face up. This might be another two color deck. Might be another just straight up black white warriors. Merrick Nightblade. The Little Death, the 1 5 flyer. Mm hmm. They're getting tough. No kill shot, please. No kill shot. Kill shot. I'm just thinking that, like, this is the turn we're going to want to leverage Feet of Resistance. We play Anok Bonkin first. Second, one, three, four. Okay. Let's 
Bull Hunter. Sage, I hear you as the WinCon becoming more and more of a more and more of a reality at this point. Dutiful return for just the Skull Hunter. Suspension feels good. I'll hit this. Total of four. So Skull Hunter here, we're gonna respond by playing Feet of Resistance on the Harrier. Taken six a turn. That's more than six. Never mind. Oh, no. We can hold off two next turn. Mm, no, I think we can't quite make it on this one, y'all. We almost had it. Yeah, we're gonna take this block here on the Skull Hunter. That'll do it. Oh, close, close. That's all right, though. Yeah. That's a game probably for me to watch back. I'm trying to think through some of those turns. I didn't see the first Marty Skull Hunter coming. Having to discard that Anok Bondkin was rough. Losing the Glacial Stalker to kill shot too. That's what the Lords of Limited uh, guys have been uh, talking about with um, who blinks first, right? And there I blinked by flipping my Glacial Stalker because I wanted to push that damage. We could have alternatively just dealt the damage, played Anok Bonkin, and held up Feet of Resistance. Probably. Yeah, that's probably the right play.
seven blue sources in the deck. Alright, this is better. Let's put a Valley Dasher on the bottom here. Okay. We're going to want Jeskai Elder first. Sky student. Yeah, I think I'm down to suspension field this. Attack with both. We don't have an immediate need for this mountain. Um... Okay, Windscarred Crack I'm a little bit more excited about. I'm actually going to push Weave Fate so we can bond Ken here. Mm, I don't like that decision now. This would have triggered both of them again. Uh, oh. Horde Chief. Skull Hunter. Okay, War Chief's a good draw for us. Uh, decline. Decline. Nightblade. a problem. Death touch and first strike. Wow. Okay. With this to buff the whole team, like, oh yeah. This is looking all right. Okay, that one they'll eat. Beautiful. Couldn't have lined up better. It was pretty, pretty heinous. Pretty heinous. Expect we're gonna flip this up here. I'm gonna murder's cut there. Okay. Or chief.
chief of the scale. Bond kin. Another creature. Mantis will have to answer. Can't play that, unfortunately. I have to wait to hit another land. Winter Flame would be good. Ah, oh, we have a Watcher of Roost. Hit for five in the air. Yeah, I don't think um, Horde Chief is going to win us a game right now. Neither of those, though. Blocks in the air, at least. They are going to gain a lot of life. Yeah, that play was just as heinous as our Just Guy charm, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> There's not really anything we can do. Yeah. We're gonna block one thing in the air. Well, Winter Flame is a little late. I mean, like, we just don't have anything of high enough impact to, like, deal with these now. 13 cards left. Yeah, I don't... What else in the deck can do anything against these? Like, first strikers? How are we ever going to deal 23 points of damage? Uh, we have to chump both of these? Oh, 
Mm, yeah, I'll, that'll absolutely wreck my day. Okay, well, <laughs> that one was a roller coaster, man. Um, I hope we don't go 5 0 into a prompt 0 3. I mean, it's not like the end of the world. Still had a good draft, but. Uh, it's just the momentum is. The momentum is wearing out here. This is not a very good hand, but um, I don't imagine it's going to get that much better if we maul. Jeskai Elder's a good draw. Them skills. Absolute. We got the tools to deal with this. Um, how do we want to? How do we want to start? What do we want to do? So we can just suspension field the unyielding Krumar and attack with everything. Um, That's the call. We were lowest. Okay, so we uh, we'll play. Let's go ahead and suspension field. Get the crew mar. Attack with everything. We'll take that action. I, I don't see us needing this canyon lurkers. Plain island. Okay, big blade, night blade. I think what we'll do is uh, one, two, three. Attack with both of these. Sure. Push timely horde mate. No activation here. Okay, we do not have a second red source. That's notable. Could have kill shot, murderous cut. Um, 
fucking immense. Okay, and we're gonna hold off on attacks this turn. Still a lot of mana, and I don't know that Winter Flame is enough to like. Can we do both? Okay, so we can cast the Morph. Um. So let's go into combat here, see what happens. strike to draw a card. Sure. Uh, nah, we're straight. Yep, Doom Blast. <laughs> Dead drop. Alright. It's a strange audio blip there, as they can see. Alright, now we get to play one more for either the 7 2 or the 6 2. I'm pretty good with either one. I'll say that. We've done well. Granny Nunchucks. Grin and nunchucks. These golden pack things. What in the world? Chock full. Chock full. <laughs> Define that, please. Oh, I know. They announced it at some point. There was some article about it. And I didn't read it. I know they were trying to, like, I know, you know, now they, like, sell wild cards or whatever. Well, this isn't bad. Okay, we can Valley Dasher get in more damage, but um, let's just nunchucks. Let's just nunchucks. Cool, I'm alright with that. Valley Dasher. I'm not feeling like I'm going to need that Sage Eye here. Either. That's a card you can play if you're into it. Uh, yeah. Mm, I can go. Or Chief. The Craig. Very reliant on playing non creature spells with this. Not a 
it's not a non-creature spell. Feral Wind. Fine by me. More. Let the bodies hit the battlefield. So just don't end hostilities me, please. Okay, that's going to count for two. Mm-hmm. Feet there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Put stalker. We got under one student. And more non creature goodness coming, you know. All I can do is tap that. got something. Feet of resistance? Yep. sense in attacking there. Gonna freeze another thing. Mm -hmm. 
I do not like attacking into this. This is frightening. Ascendancy. could definitely matter. They have at, what, at most one non-creature spell here. And they're letting me go to attacks. Can they gain life? The fact that they let me go to attacks? Guess they can kill something? Here I was sitting <laughs> terrified that there was something that was coming and there was not anything. Well, alright. Got kind of lucky. Um, that deck almost stabilized. Um, that quiet contemplation looked pretty good. That and Goblin Slides, like, I, I, they, those are definitely, like, real things that you can do in the format. I just, um, I haven't gone down that road myself. It's Wally! Alright, well, we have had some good success and cons. Alright, claim that bad boy. Bring it on back. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, I'm John with People's Republic MTG, which is the best playgroup in the Atlanta area. Find me on Twitter at McNerdy27 if you happen to be local and I can get you hooked up with the group. You can come play with us. Uh, McNerdy27 is also the handle on the YouTube channel. It's where you're watching this. Uh, please do check out the links to funds and charities that support the Black Lives Matter movement in the YouTube video descriptions and consider giving part of your monthly magic budget or anything you donate to my channel to one of those worthwhile causes. All right, I'll see you guys next time.